is all just one big misunderstanding. I only did what any good human being would do. It doesn't matter to me. They wouldn't believe me. And now, I'm stuck here for a very long time. I just want something special to happen to me, you know? Something like in the movies. <coughs> Something that could only happen to me, and turn my whole life around. Well, something finally did happen. <sighs> it was a Wednesday, June 8th. Didn't get any sleep last night. Just like the other nights before. Like my life wasn't crummy enough. My insomnia kept me from seeing my dreams. I got up at about seven, decided to go for a walk. I went to this diner a couple blocks from my apartment. I always sat near the corner, facing the wall. You know, so I didn't have to look at all the husbands and wives, friends and families, as much as I hated it. I just wanted to be alone. But I did notice this one girl. She must have came there as many times as I did. She always tried to catch glimpses of me, but I always turned away. She seemed nice. You know, the kind of girl that would make my life a whole lot happier. Doesn't matter to me. She's dead now. I also went to the park that day, too. I like going to the park, you know? I like being around all the trees and plants. Away from the rotten city, the cars and the buses. Even away from all those murderers, drug dealers, scum of the city. Being away from all that helped me breathe better, you know? even if it was all in my head. I worked at this ridiculously named convenience store called Hey Come Here. I worked during the evenings and nights. He didn't work in there. <coughs> but that day, I was glad I was working. It was around midnight. I was so tired. I was always tired. I can never sleep. It's just me working alone that night. Suddenly I heard some strange noise coming from the back of the store. So I decided to check it out. It sounded like somebody was being hassled. You know, and I thought it was probably some poor girl and a couple punks. When I saw who was back there, I froze. It was that girl from the diner. These two crooked cops were beating her. Then, before I knew it, they shot her. Why would they do that? Well, I had to do something, right? So I came up behind that cop that shot her, hit him pretty bad, and dropped his gun. Then that other cop started to wrestle with me, but I was able to grab that gun shoot them both dead. They deserved it. The cops came shortly after. I told them everything. I told them everything. But they wouldn't believe me. They thought I killed the three of them. Damn it! Even that girl's friends thought I killed her. You know, she told them that she was trying to meet me and they thought some lonely, crazy guy like me would have tried to harm her or something. I'd never do that. Never do that. <sighs> I'm a hero. 
tried to save her, and they threw me in here! <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Because <laughs> I'm able to sleep now. <laughs> I'm able to sleep. <laughs>